Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor, and today it's a blind camera test between the iPhone X and the iPhone XS. So I hear many people say, dude, what's the difference between the XS and the X? And truth be told, I even have a hard time telling as a tech enthusiast. I mean, the camera's supposedly better on the XS, so today we're gonna find out. However, you're not going to know which picture is from which phone until the end of the video, so be sure to stay until the analysis at the end. Let's go shooting! Alright, so now I'm going to test the selfies, this time not in portrait and once again for this one I am going to ruin it and say right off the bat the tennis a uh, beauty gate is definitely a thing I kind of didn't believe it but you can see so much more detail on my face on the 10 but on the tennis it's really smoothed over now this is an image processing issue uh, check out front page text video on that it'll be over there so no need to worry Apple's gonna fix it with the software update but definitely do notice a difference on that All right, so this is a quick video test on both phones at the same time. And we're just gonna test the autofocus here. So just going out and in back on the tree, out and back on the tree. Uh, they both seem fairly similar. So uh, once we label them, you will know the difference. All right, so this is a quick video test on both phones at the same time. And we're just gonna test the autofocus here. So. Just going out and in back on the tree, out and back on the tree. Uh, they both seem fairly similar. So uh, once we label them, you will know the difference. All right, now this is a test of both front facing cameras once again at the same time. So one thing I notice immediately is it is much wider on the, the 10. The 10S is definitely closer up. so. Uh, sorry, I did kind of give that one away on this shot, but yeah, it's kind of bugging me how uh, close up the 10s is. It's nice to have that wide angle on the 10, so definitely a, a clear difference there. All right, now this is a test of both front-facing cameras once again at the same time. So one thing I notice immediately is it is much wider on the, the 10. The 10s is definitely closer up, so uh, sorry, I did kind of give that one away on this shot, but yeah, it's kind of bugging me how uh, close up the tennis is. It's nice to have that wide angle on the 10. So definitely a, a clear difference there. Okay, so now that we've looking at some samples, the iPhone 10s pictures were always on the left. The iPhone 10 pictures were always on the right. So when it comes to pictures, is it significant enough to upgrade from the 10 to the 10s? Absolutely not. Of course, the 10s has a little bit better camera. I noticed better HDR, overall better exposure. The iPhone 10 tended to blow out some of the highlights, but the 10s did a better job exposing that. But overall, they are so similar. It's such a marginal upgrade. I wouldn't upgrade from the iPhone 10 to the 10s for pictures. Now, when it comes to video, the iPhone 10s videos were up first, followed by the iPhone 10. Now, I gotta say, I was really, really impressed with the difference when it comes to audio. The video quality was not much of a step up on the rear cameras. Uh, the front-facing camera, I do think, although it was closer on the 10s, the colors were much more true to life and just better. But the audio all around was so much better on the 10s. I'm not sure if it's the iPhone 10 that I borrowed that maybe had a bit of an issue with the mic, or if that's the mic quality on every iPhone 10. But when it comes to video, I gotta say, just based on what I was able to tell, if you are deep into video and you use your iPhone for like a YouTube channel or vlogging, and you especially use that front facing camera and that 60 FPS looks attractive to you, I may say that it might be worth upgrading if you use your iPhone heavily for video. 
but when it comes to photos, I don't think it's worth the upgrade at all. So what do you guys think? Do you like the iPhone 10, the 10s? Is there even a big enough difference in the 10s to matter for an upgrade? Definitely be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And I did another blind camera test on the Pixel 2 XL versus the iPhone 10s, which you can check out over there. So if you like this video, please do hit that subscribe button and click the bell to turn on post notifications. Check out some of my other videos over there. And with that said, I will catch you guys next time.